Now, case four. All right. Okay. Oh. okay. okay. All right, first glance, really thick and compact trap corneum, so more than likely we on an apple site. Good. And especially in this left piece here, we can just see this like cleared out area. It kind of looks to be cystic, but. Yeah, here's it's cystic right here. And then here, not really. Here it's kind of very right. loose and pale and has some scattered spindle cells floating around in it. So what's going on here? So if it appears, I'm, I'm, this cleared area looks like a lot of movement. Um, so I'm sure the little spindle area is mean, hard to tell from here, but I, I'm betting that fibroblasts yep. probably help it produce this movement. And so this is the uh, digital Cyst. Yeah, so this is digital mucus cyst, digital myxoid cyst, whichever you like to call them. And they are little kind of clearish papules that arise on the proximal nail fold. So the dorsal surface uh, where the skin meets the nail. For anyone watching online who's not familiar, you can go Google the, that terminology to see. But that's the site where these arise. And you have two different patterns that you can see in digital mucus cyst. One is an open cystic space filled with bluish or pale mucin or myxoid material, okay? Um, it's very pale here because um, I find that mucin uh, tends to start to fade very quickly on H&E slides. It's one of the first things to start disappearing as the slide gets older, and this slide's a bit older. You can tell the epidermis is kind of pale. So that's why it looks almost clear here. But in a fresh example, it's often kind of bluish. But do note that sometimes, depending on uh, tissue processing, sometimes uh, once you cut into it, all the mucin falls out and it washes away during processing and you do get a just empty clear space. So it can either be an empty white slash clear space or it can be filled with bluish stuff and kind of debris and it's a cyst and it's not lined by any epithelium. So it's like a pseudo cyst actually. It's, it's a cystic space, but not a true epithelial cyst, right? It doesn't have any epithelial lining. It may look almost like, kind of almost like a little subtle synovial type lining sometimes, but usually it looks like this, like no lining cells. So that's pattern one, a pseudocyst filled with mucin or myxoid material or washed out and empty. Number two, though, what happens is sometimes the, the myxoid uh, mucinous material um, leaks out of the cyst and infiltrates the adjacent dermis. And what you get then is this loose myxoid pale dermis with floating spindle to stellate fibroblasts or myofibroblasts floating around in that mucinous material, okay? So either of these, either of these patterns or both are perfectly fine, in my opinion, for digital mucus cysts, okay? And the analogy, th this is analogous to me to ganglion cysts. So if you had a similar appearance, either the right side or the left side, if it looks like this and it's down deeper and it's a little nodule that connects down to a joint space, um, at any other anatomic site, you would call this a ganglion cyst. Ganglion cysts often have a thicker wall. They, they sometimes have a true synovial lining. Sometimes they don't. Um, I find that some hand surgeons uh, use digital mucus cyst and ganglion cyst interchangeably. Um, in derm path, in, in the past, people have sometimes liked to say, well, a true digital mucus cyst should not connect to the underlying distal interphalangeal joint, but a ganglion cyst does. I don't know who makes these rules, but, but one of the forefathers, I think, has decreed that. I don't care, honestly, because both of them have the same kind of meaning. They're a benign thing. They're cystic. And um, in any case, just so you know, that that's the, the distinction that some people make. But to me, microscopically, digital mucus cyst and ganglion cyst have essentially the same appearance. Just ganglion cysts usually are deeper down, and digital mucus cysts usually are right here in the dermis, underneath the epidermis. And you will have various amounts of reactive change from people rubbing at it, some dilated blood vessels here. So anytime you see either of these patterns in the proximal nail fold, digital mucus cysts.